a market tumble, the Dow falling nearly 400 points yesterday amid fears about political turmoil in Italy and renewed trade uncertainty between the U.S. and China. Let's bring in Matty Dupler, a senior fellow at the National Taxpayers Union and visiting fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. Matty, uh, the Dow was pessimistic yesterday. <laughs> Are you? I am absolutely not, and I think the rebound today proves that when you have observers calling Chicken Little over a political event, they are missing the bigger picture here. Now, in Italy, as in the United, Sa uh, in the United States, fundamentals remain strong, and we need to keep our eye on the ball there. In Italy, you've got high consumer and business confidence, and that's true here in the United States, which, of course, in America, we've got the largest economy in the world, and there's a lot of room for growth still. So that's what's going to be driving global developments for the near future. So when we get distracted by political events, I think that it really, we lose what the actual situation is, which, is circ which are circumstances that are continuing to improve, both for Americans, but for global citizens everywhere. There's a lot of commonly accepted wisdom these days that doesn't <laughs> appear to be all that wise, and, and this may be an example of that. Well, I think that's true, and I think that in, the, in Europe in particular, it is, uh, it's prudent to keep in mind kind of what we're looking at when we see political events of this nature. You know, just like when President Trump became president, there were a lot of prognosticators telling us there's no way this ever happens. Same thing happened in Europe with Brexit, right? The notion that Brexit will never happen. So now, every time there is a political event that the uh, elite uh, do not necessarily find to be the most encouraging, they uh, it automatically start to discuss contagion fears and what this means for the rest of the economic uh, markets. And I, I would just, I would caution that this is the, a, not the way to look at the news coming out of Europe and how the economy is actually performing. When you look at what's happening in Europe and what's happening here, we still see a lot of room for growth and we still see a lot of fundamentals that remain strong. So I well, think that when we talk about political events, we need to remember that sometimes those are just noise. And the, the tax cuts, for instance, that the president and Congress passed, those are really just starting to take effect. Those are going to have a cumulative effect, are they not? Oh, that's absolutely right. You know, the first two quarters in the United States, we saw personal fortunes begin to improve both through through uh, bonuses and increases in take-home pay for average Americans. And now we're going to start to see businesses changing their behavior. Moving into the third quarter of the year, we're going to start to see businesses realign their investing stratum for the United States. So instead of keeping money abroad rather than not investing it here, we're going to see businesses able to invest it here. Um, that's both American businesses and companies that are domiciled elsewhere. So I think we're going to see a lot of economic activity that is just starting to take hold versus what we've seen the last couple of months where individuals have really benefited. That will continue to happen with on the wake of the tax cut, but we'll see some business activity that really starts to improve those fortunes as well. And deregulation is a big part of this too. It doesn't it doesn't get the attention because it's yeah. not quite as easy to put your finger finger on it and say, right. okay, you know, deregulation is the reason for this uptick in the economy, but but that the president has made that one of his priorities. Oh, absolutely. And just like regulation didn't get the attention that it was due when the Obama administration was increasing the regulatory regime, the Trump administration isn't getting the attention that's due to the amount of regulations they're repealing. It's somewhere between one new regulation for every 22 that are repealed, which is a huge benefit to the economy and that will continue to move forward. Uh, it's really exciting, I think, to see the way economic opportunity has been unleashed just by repealing a lot of the regulatory regime that has been in place in the United States. And if there were to be some kind of an agreement with North Korea, it's Katie bar the door, isn't it? <laughs> I would certainly think so. I think the two main factors that the administration are looking at in the coming months are what's happening in trade and what's happening with North Korea. And those things, of course, are related, and they could have economic um, stimulus for the American economy uh, to the extent that I don't think we can even anticipate how much better it can, it can get. I would look on Friday when we have new jobs numbers coming out, we'll start to see even more confidence in uh, me economic metrics continue to improve there. And I think that moving into this next quarter, that will start the trend that we'll see continue in the summer. Matty Duppler is a uh, senior fellow, National Taxpayers Union. Good to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. So the Trump administration moving full speed ahead with plans for a potential summit with North Korea. But can any 